Husbands who love the outdoors and are very much accomplished hunters. They grew up doing it. Though. Yeah, totally natural for them. Right. Find it sleeping and then we are coming along trying to feel comfortable and confident. I think the, the opportunities to hunt with other women and learn from them have really helped me get to a different level. I don't think I'll ever feel like I'm oh. a full expert, a professional, or anything, because I don't think you ever stop learning no. or experiencing or finding a new way to do something or thinking about trying something new. 18 of them, sorry. 18 bulls? 18 bulls. Yeah. yeah. A couple hundred yards the other side. I'm thinking it's a beautiful day to be out here. And we have bulls in sight, which is awesome. Um, sounds like a day of opportunity. <laughs> They're going up to bed for the day. Well, when it's hot, they go to the timber, but I don't oh. expect them to go that high just because of that. They might just cut across. Yeah. You saw like 150 on Thursday, right? The segment of new hunters the largest portion of that were women. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what do we have now that we didn't have five years a ago? A lot. I've been making do up until this point, but now I've got to do this to make what I'm doing all the time that much easier, right? So that they have a specific gear or clothing that fits or the rise, you know, fits our shape and we can survive elements like we're about to go experience. Yeah. It's a big deal, so. It is a big deal. And I have to wear like twice as many layers as most guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, multiple sizes. I know, right? You, you leave some stuff at home so you can take extra jackets. Of course. We're finally getting a break in our, in our storm, right? Our, our forecast looks really good, but now we're getting beat up by the wind, so. But we got a lot of snow for this time of year. Um, at least two feet. Yeah, it's, it was up to my knees when we were in that, in that spot yesterday, so. Like you were saying earlier, I mean, they gotta be concentrated on feed, but now that this wind has picked up, I think they're hiding from the wind right now. I think in any like male dominated sport or activity, like to be able to make it, you just have to be confident what you're doing, know, know why you're doing it and um, do your best. I sometimes wonder if I didn't notice any challenges because I was so, worried about just working hard. So we didn't have time to worry about what anyone else thought. Between kids and work, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Full plates. Yeah, and then you're like, let's start a new hobby and try to learn how to hunt. Right. Amidst a bunch of guys who have hunted their whole lives. Deep down inside of me, like when I'm in the outdoors, I feel more whole. I, you know, the sense of calm helps me get through those busy moments that, that we all have in life. Um, and so um, I've really just fallen in love with the outdoors. Got a good wind. Let's hope he's laying there for us. I hope so, friend. Smack down on him. It's amazing where you where you'll go and the places you wouldn't have seen at any other point unless you have a tag in your pocket. Yes. Right? And it's just the tag alone, right? That gives you that drive to go try. Try. Things. I think I'm looking right at him. Are you sure that's not him? I'm look I swear to God. Through, through that Dude, gap? Yeah, right under the tree. You see the dark face and the tan body? That, that, that bush right, looks right just like Right in the like gap it. of the willows. Yeah. Well, that's where we put him to bed. That, I swear we to God, he's looking right at us. Over there by a quarter mile. I would not be here at the specific moment if it weren't for that tag in my pocket right now in this state or for whatever reason that brought me there, you know, that opportunity. And yep, I opportunity. I walk into the field and I'm like, gosh, I hope I get an opportunity. And if not, this is me.
I see. see him? Yep. Yeah. You got him. What's the range on him right now? One second. 400. Got him. Wait for a good time. Is that tree next to him? Yeah, he's at 300. Okay. You want to take them? Yep. Ready? Yep. There you go, Good job. I'm freaking out. That was. We worked hard for that one. Yeah, found him in the morning. Thought we'd put him to bed. Weren't really sure. Couldn't get eyes on him. Hiked in. It took us a little, like an hour or more to get up here because we had to get up here slowly. So I thought we saw him at one point in time. And then I was starting to really start to give up hope. This is amazing. I'm very, very thankful to have this opportunity right now. Oh my God. I don't even know what to think right now. Getting nervous about it, mentally preparing the checklist, like you said, but then I equally, the second that it happens, you know that you've done your part successfully and you did it correctly, and you let your brain let's go for a moment, I'm like, the next part of my checklist is to share it, yeah. right? And that's a cool thing with women in the industry, because we're always celebrating each other's wins. Yeah. I mean, we've, like, we're both fairly new in our hunting journey, but we're always like, oh my gosh, that's awesome, you know, we're just sharing with each other, and. Yeah, I don't know, I just love everything about it. Yep.